Hello, beautiful soul. I wanted to jump on today because I want you to know that although 2020 has been a complete shit show and we are going through this pandemic and many of us are struggling, many of us have gone through a lot of struggles in the last year, whether that's mentally, financially, um, physically, health-wise, um, employment, all sorts of different struggles that people have been having all around the world. But I want you to know that that doesn't mean that 2021 is a write-off. It does not need to be a write-off. The thing is, if we write it off, it will be a write-off. But if you stay focused and you have a plan and you have a goal and you keep positive and you keep in alignment with your vision, it can happen. 2021 does not need to be a write-off. And I am living proof of this because, you see... I set out a goal of over a year ago to travel for the year of 2021. This was well before COVID hit the market. And uh, when COVID did strike, at first we didn't know how long it was going to last. We didn't know what the implications were going to be um, or the results of it were going to be. And as the months progressed and COVID didn't go away, um, it did start to get discouraging and it definitely put some fear into my plans and really made me question whether or not I could travel for the year of 2021. And um, it was a struggle to face those fears and to really push those fears aside and say, hey, no, I am not going to let COVID-19 stop me from living out my dreams that I have worked very hard for. You know, everything that I put into making this happen for myself, I didn't want to let myself down. And I also wasn't going to allow COVID-19 to stop me. Whereas in the past, I would have taken that as the easier route. I would have been like, okay, there's my chance to back out now because it is scary to travel the world by yourself as a woman because it is scary to go into the unknown without a job without um any job security or income security it is scary to sell all your things and <clears throat> you know take that leap of faith that you are following your heart and that things will unfold as they should and really feeling <clears throat> confident with that and moving forward is scary, but the old Andrea would have definitely taken that as, oh yes, easy way out. Yep, COVID-19, I guess my plans have changed. I guess I can't go anymore. But instead, I, I, I recognize that because I've done enough personal growth work in the last few years that I know that as soon as I started to have those doubts and, and started to see that as a way out, I stopped myself and I said, mm -mm -mm, we're not going to do this again. We're not going to start something and not finish it. And you're not going to let yourself down when you've promised yourself something again. And it's when we stay true to ourselves and we um, follow through with what we promise ourselves in our plans for ourselves and for our lives, despite the challenges, despite the fear, despite any obstacle that arises, that is when true growth and true confidence and true self-esteem is built and that is when you conquer and there's no greater feeling so i want you to know that if you have a dream if you had plans for 2021 you know if uh, you if if there's just something that's calling you if there's something that you want to do i want you to know that 2021 can be your year just keep focused, keep your eye on the prize, and don't let go of your heart's truest desires. Because where your heart's truest desires lie is where alignment lies. Once you're in alignment with your heart's truest desires, things will flow more naturally. And you'll find that you'll you'll tend to, you know, run into situations that really help you along on your journey to get you to where you must go. I honestly, truly believe that. But again, if you haven't done the inner work and you haven't done the fear work and you haven't, you know, um, done the limiting beliefs work, this will be more challenging, right? 
but like I said, because I had done this inner work previously, when COVID-19 struck and, you know, really wanted to get in my way and was trying to, you know, prevent me from traveling the world in 2021, luckily I had done the inner work and, and I was able to combat that and say, mm -mm -mm, no, nope, you're not going to stop me, COVID-19, right? Um... And if, and if that isn't work that you've done and you want to learn a little bit more about that, please don't hesitate to reach me. I'm always here to help. I'm a uh, personal reinvention mentor and transformational life coach, empowerment coach. I'm here to empower women to, you know, let go of their fears, you know, really believe in themselves, build self-love, unconditional self-love, you know, and that's something I still struggle with daily. But you know what? Every day... I have a new beginning, a new chance to renew my own self-worth and renew my own self-love. And that's why I start my day off, my hand on my heart, and I say, Andrea, I love you. This is going to be a beautiful day. And I go through all the different things that I'm grateful for. That is just one way that I am able to begin each day with a new intention, revived intention. Even if I was feeling like crap the day before, the next day is a new day. Every minute is a new minute. Every minute is a new opportunity to feel better. And I want you to take this opportunity to feel better. I want you to take your life back. I want you to take control of your life again. No one is coming to save you. You have to do the work for yourself and you deserve it. I really hope that you will truly believe that in your heart because you do. And if you want to do the inner work, I have a program which leads women through the process of inner healing and self-love and confidence and dreams and capabilities and oh, it's such a beautiful beautiful process and i would love to share that with you there's some links below if you want to check that out um, our next start date is january 4th woo woo, just a few more days i'm so excited and uh yeah i hope that you take something from this message today i am about to go i think it's about six more days in less than a week i will be going to central america to live out my dream of traveling the world that is just the beginning and i will be sharing my experience and my travels with you guys here on the youtube channel here on the facebook group and uh I'm really, really excited to do that. So I hope you all stay tuned. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful day. Mwah.